Hi there, my name is Gabby Smith and this is my self-analysis video. So I think there are a lot of people in my life that I would attribute to sort of getting into design and being a creative person, but I think the person I would give that, the, give the top title to would be my mom, for sure, because she is probably the most creative person I know. I think I also sort of just had this kind of creative bug in me just since I'm, ever since I was really young. Um, I remember a lot of the times when I was younger, like, um, I know, like, when you're young, you like to pretend that you own your own business, like, you own your own bakery or whatever, um, and I think when I was younger, I'd always like to do that, but it wasn't really the idea of getting to own my own bakery or, you know, be, like, a business owner. It was more so that if I got to make that business, that would mean that I would get to make a logo for it and come up with a title and come up with all these designs for it, and I, that always just made me so excited to think about, and that was, like, the first thing that would come in my head. What's my logo going to be for that business? So Vincent van Gogh is one of the biggest reasons I think that I fell in love with painting to begin with. He's definitely one of my biggest inspirations to keep challenging myself and to appreciate my self-worth as an artist. In addition, van Gogh has also had such a huge influence on, my, on both my painting style and my designing style. I love Vincent van Gogh's painting, his passion, and his everything about him. Another one of my favorite inspirations to look to whenever I'm out of ideas is pop art. To me, the whole concept of pop art is very loud and bright and definitely makes a statement, which is something I admire. I think in a sense pop art is actually really similar to the way that comic books are drawn, which is something I really love about it as well, as comic book style is kind of one of my favorite things too. But I think kind of the cool thing about pop art is that it's just such a simplified yet vivid and intense style, and I just think it's very different from a lot of, a lot of the things that I've seen so far. I think another one of my huge inspirations kind of stems from my love of sci-fi and aliens, like anything related to space at all. It, it's one of my favorite things to design and just sort of think about and kind of dream about. Um, and so one of like the, the biggest inspirations like for one of my styles I think would be like those um, really cool sci-fi posters, like they are super retro. I don't know, I just love the text, I love the style, I love how everything pops out and the colors, I just, I think they're gorgeous. So I think that's one of the really big things that I kind of strive for in illustrators to sort of make something that looks like that, that's simple but still sort of pops out at you and just kind of gets your attention. So for my strengths, I would say that I'm definitely very creative. Um, I think I kind of go out of the box. I'm always willing to try new styles. And probably the biggest one I think would be that I'm just so detail oriented. I'm, I'm a perfectionist and that um, whenever I'm doing something, I want to make sure that everything about it is just perfect. And even if, if even just like one little thing is off, I will go back and do my very best to fix it and make sure that it looks just how I want it to look. So on to weaknesses. So I think one of my, probably my biggest weakness would just be that I like to give myself a hard time. Um, I kind of like to doubt myself. I like to second guess myself and be like, oh, well, you know, this could probably be a little bit better or you know, this, isn't, this isn't a good idea at all. And it's actually a really good idea. I'm just kind of um, just giving myself a hard time. So one of my favorite pieces I've done so far is definitely my pop art edit of Bill Potts from Doctor Who. This piece was my first attempt at making pop art using Illustrator. I used the pen tool to trace in an image of Bill I found online, and then from there I used different blend modes and a halftone pattern to create the effect. I think the thing that mostly inspired me to make this was Bill's sort of retro style, which I loved right off the bat, um, and obviously her iconic wow patch, which to me just screams pop art. Another one of my favorite pieces that I've created so far is in a sense sort of a mixed media piece in that I used both Photoshop and Illustrator to create it. This drawing was based off of a promo picture for Doctor Who Series 10 by Radio Times Magazine. I sketched, I sketched the basic drawing for this piece and then took it into Photoshop and used the pen tool and brush tool to bring it to life. Another one of my favorite pieces that I've made so far is definitely my magazine cover of Matt Smith holding an umbrella. I think this one was a lot of fun to make because I got to experiment using the blend if tool. So in a sense, it looked like he was holding the umbrella, but using the blend if tool, it was actually made it look like it was actually part of the background, which is a ton of fun to mess around with. So last but not least, what would I want to do with this knowledge or where would I want to go for my future? So I think as of right now, I mean, freelance sounds really, really fun to me just because I love coming up with my own sort of things and then just sort of bringing them to life. And I think it'd be cool to sort of do that for a living. But I'm also like super interested in working for like an actual like design firm maybe um, just because I'm sort of new at this and it would be nice to sort of work in an environment with a lot of other experienced designers and sort of learn from them and then maybe from there go to um, freelance. Okay, so I think that just about wraps up this video and everything I wanted to say about design and being creative and who I am as a designer. 
Um, so thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk. Um, I will put the link to my Wix website if you want to go look at some of my actual art. Uh, thank you so much.